Logistic regression is a fundamental supervised machine learning algorithm used for binary classification. Binary classification is the task of saying whether something belongs to a category or not. For example, saying whether an image contains a cat or not, whether an x-ray shows a cancerous tumor or not, whether a tweet has inflammatory speech or not. You get the idea. If you haven't already watched the visual guide to linear regression, we highly recommend watching it because a lot of the concepts will carry over to this one. In preparation for this video, we played a lot of FIFA. I mean, a lot. We noticed that when taking a shot, the distance to the goalpost was one of the key predictors of a goal. We decided to test this hypothesis, so for each shot, we recorded the distance to the goal and whether it was successful or not. We want to model the relationship between shot distance and goal scoring so that we can finally win against the world-class AI. This is a binary classification problem as there are only two possible categories. Let's plot out the data with the outcome on the y-axis and distance to goal on the x-axis with 1 meaning the goal was scored and 0 mean the goal was missed. First, let's just try to fit a linear regression model. The gray line is the best fit line for the training data set which aims to minimize the distance between the predicted value and the actual value. If y is greater than 0.5, above the green line, we predict that this shot will be a goal, otherwise it will not. Sounds straightforward, right? Well, there are a few problems with using linear regression for a classification problem like this. Linear regression outputs are not probabilities. In a binary classification problem, we are interested in the probability of an outcome occurring. Probabilities range between 0 and 1, where the probability of something certain to happen is 1 and something certain to not happen is 0. But linear regression predicts values which can be negative or even greater than 1, which cannot be interpreted as probabilities. Using our linear regression model, shots made at a distance of 45 meters and greater have a prediction of negative goal probability, which doesn't make any sense. Sure, we can limit any value greater than 1 to be 1 and values lower than 0 to be 0. Linear regression can still work, right? Yeah, it might work, but let's see why logistic regression is more suitable and yields better results than linear regression when it comes to binary classification tasks. Logistic regression is very similar to linear regression in that it tries to estimate a linear formula like y is equal to mx. But instead of just outputting that, it puts that line into a sigmoid or logistic function, hence the name logistic regression. This function is also called sigmoid because it has a shape that looks like the letter S. One end of the sigmoid is always 1 and the other end is always 0. In the middle, there is what's called a decision boundary. When the model is very confident, the decision boundary is narrow. And when it isn't confident about where exactly the sweet spot is, the decision boundary is wide. Let's see how logistic regression classifies our dataset. As you can see, the model is a squished line with a slanted S shape such that all predictions fall between 0 and 1. We can now interpret these predictions as probabilities. Looking at this graph, we see that the model is very confident that the shots below 20 meters all end up in goals, so the prediction is 1. While shots greater than 30 meters are all misses, so the prediction is 0. Between 20 and 30 meters, the model behaves linearly, and this is the decision boundary. Here the predictions are between 0 and 1. We can pick a threshold probability above which a shot will be classified as a goal. Logistic regression is slightly more robust to outliers or new additions in the data. For example, if we added a few more positive data points, then the linear model would change a lot, while the logistic model would not change at all. You can think about logistic regression as linear regression with the added flexibility of the two flaps at the ends where the model is confident. As far as how it's trained, logistic regression uses cross entropy as the loss function and then runs the gradient descent algorithm which we will explain in a future video. All this said, logistic regression is only slightly better than linear regression for classification, which is already a weak baseline to compare against. Logistic regression is outperformed by other models like decision trees and naive ways. However, when logistic regression models are ensembled in particular arrangements called neural networks, they become incredibly powerful. Subscribe to our channel and watch out for our upcoming video on neural networks to learn more about them.